Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to so see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we can see we are start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we did rally quite significantly today. We're up 0 0.60 or 60. Uh, percent and this has been mainly due to chairman powell going out saying that they're not going to increase interest rates and they're going to continue with their with their 120 billion dollar bond uh, purchasing a month so that got uh, the market uh, well uh, well basically really bullish all indices stocks and so on everything uh, rallied the us dollar uh, tanked uh, really hard uh, for in, in just a few seconds and uh, usually when the US dollar depreciates well this uh, currency pair that goes up so that's what basically what we're seeing here so other technical indicators are looking very bullish at this point but we did not manage to break above these previous highs we in order to get up here we need to get another green candlestick uh, right over here in order to take out these previous highs then we'll basically head towards the top of the bullish band, which is roughly at 1411 at this point. Rally breaking downs below here. The 50 moving average has offered quite a lot of support now for several months and most likely will do so also in the future. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. So this as well fell quite hard as well uh, due to the same fact that the US dollar started depreciating. So we are getting we're fairly close to the middle of the bullish band and uh, it's going to be quite interesting to basically see whether or not the US dollar continues to depreciate. If it starts appreciating uh, yet again uh, tomorrow, then we may see this turn around yet again and then rally to the upside. However, we are on the edge, we are significantly overbought here and uh, well, it has been expected for this to pull back at least towards the, the middle of the bullish band, but it has been taking this time. It has basically been just trading sideways. Taking the indicators otherwise are turning around for this, but um, it is probably expected for this to bounce off the 20 exponential when we get there. At this current stage, um, yes, that is most likely what is going to occur here. So let's look at the euro US dollar. So we really rallied here up 0.69% and found the uh, resistance at the 150 moving average. So quite a massive move from the downside to the upside here, a move of roughly 0.85%. Technically, they are all turning around. So we can change the daily. So technical indicators are all turning around for the euro, US um, dollar, but there's a lot of work to do in order to get back to these previous highs. So this was a really good day, but also a day where the euro, the US dollar fell quite significantly, and we saw this rally towards the middle of the bullish band. So it looks like we are about to go higher. We know that this floor here is uh, quite a lot of resistance within this area, also this area here. So if we manage to take out these uh, the 50, 150 moving average, we'll head towards the 40 and then the 50. But there is a lot of work to be done. Fallbacks from here, they'll most likely again be bought into. If the US dollar will continues to uh, appreciate, then we may see this fall uh, below this uh, support line and head towards the 300 moving average. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, also here, we see this massive rally towards uh, the upside. We broke the middle of the bullish band and now we're testing these previous highs here. Taking indicators, they're all turning around for the Aussie dollar, US, uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar, and uh, pullbacks are most likely going to be bought into as the 150 has offered quite significant support in the past so at this point we are most likely going to test these previous highs if we manage to take out them we may go to 108 so let's look at that us dollar canadian dollar this just fell apart today and at this current stage we are getting really overstretched we can see that we are way outside here with the pull in japan the uh, the RSI is really low, significantly oversold, 
and other technical indicators are also very bearish at this point. So pullbacks towards the 20, 40 or the 50, uh, those are expected to be sold into uh, quite aggressively. Otherwise, yes, we, this is basically screaming for a pullback. Last time we were this outside, for example, here, we had rallied above the Bollinger Band in uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band. So, yes, hope you find it helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us on our Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.